What's up everybody? Gonna do a little respiratory assessment today. Real quick one on my friend here. He's not doing real well, as you can tell. This is for my friends that have requested this over at the Batterjee Medical School. Hope this helps you. Do a little BLS line too. Cut to the intro. Good morning, Mr. Smith. I'm Jimmy from Respiratory Therapy. I'm here to apply the oxygen the doctor has ordered for you. Can you give me your birth date? Thank you, that's correct. 5 3 1959. All right, we'll get the oxygen set up for you. The doctor has ordered a non rebreather. This is going to deliver. Near 100% oxygen. I want you to take slow breaths of this oxygen. Check your pulse. Is it oxygen helping you? Thank you. I'm going to take a listen to your breath sounds. Big deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Great. I'm going to have you sit up here. Big breath in your nose and out your mouth. Great. In your nose and out your mouth. Very good. In your nose and out your mouth. Great. And one more. And out your mouth. Great job. Take a listen to your heart. Mr. Smith, I'm going to check your blood pressure. Gonna get a little bit tight. Your blood pressure is 120 over 80. Your heart rate is 80. Your respiratory rate. About 16 per minute. We check your pulse oximetry. Slow. 
slow, deep breaths. Your pulse oximetry is now 98% on your non rebreather. Before I leave, is there anything else I can do for you, Mr. Smith? Thank you. Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, hit the code button. We need help in here. Somebody bring an AED. When you feel for a pulse during a code, it's good to go on the side that's closest to you and to press on the carotid artery. Make sure you're not doing this at the same time somebody's on the other side pushing on this side. So I always like to make sure that I'm the only one checking for the pulse. It's the best way to check for a carotid pulse. Also when you're feeling for a pulse over here, no longer than six seconds. That's the key. If you don't feel a heart one beat in six seconds, they're in trouble. Don't waste your time feeling for a pulse for longer than six seconds. That's important. Notice something also when I'm doing CPR, I have gloves on in most cases, well, usually in all cases. So what I'm gonna do is use the heel of my hand, lower half of the breastbone. I'm gonna keep my arm straight and I'm gonna push from the center of my back. I think that's the best way to do it. Sometimes you might need a stool. Rate of 100 per minute. Your depth's two to two and a half inches. So it's really go fast and deep. One thing you want to make sure of though, that you're not doing this. You want full chest recoil each time. That allows the heart to refill with blood so that you can pump it around. You also don't want to do this <laughs> because you'll never hit the right spot next time. Let the pressure up, chest recoil, go right back at it. Everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you send in comments. I can do a lot more of these things. I can get way more in depth also if you're interested. Send in some comments. Hit me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm on all of them. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.